All right, welcome back to another edition of Rational Wrestling Talk. This is the Rational Wrestling Mark, and I'm going to be talking about Sami Zayn. Um, a lot of people have said that Sami Zayn's, you know, babyface reactions or his steam has or stock has uh, plummeted in the past couple months or ever since him losing to Roman Reigns at Elimination Chamber, right? Some people have said his stock has declined. And, you know, I disagree with that. I think Sami Zayn, if you listen to the crowd reactions... He has been getting consistent, positive reactions every week. Now, they may have not been as loud as in his home country of Canada. And I guarantee you, the next time they show up in Canada, Sami Zayn is still going to get those same, like, legendary, raucous reactions from, from the crowd, right? Okay, let alone from his home country. He's going to get the same reaction that he got the SmackDown before Chamber and at Elimination Chamber when he fought when he fought Roman. So I think that Sami Zayn is still hot as a babyface. He's still white hot. He still has momentum. Obviously, he's out with an injury. I don't know if it's a, um, if it's an angle injury or a real life injury. I'm not quite sure. But from what I'm seeing, it seems as though they're building Sami Zayn up to potentially win the world title. On Raw, like about a month ago, I paid attention to this little detail. And in a promo, Sami Zayn said that his road, his journey to winning the world title begins now. And the first person that gave him any pushback was Drew McIntyre, who is officially now a heel. Who is back to being a bad guy. Right? Now, you don't have to take my word for it. And you can disagree with my take on this, but, and I know a lot of people are really um, anticipating CM Punk to win the Rumble and him, you know, beating Rollins for the world championship at WrestleMania. And a lot of people think that's the world title match for WrestleMania. But I'm here to tell you that the CM Punk and Seth Rollins feud does not need the world championship. When you look at that feud for what it is, that's on the that should be considered on the same level, right? In the same conversation of a um you know, Rock and Cena match from WrestleMania 28. You know, look at that match itself. It did not need a title. You know, Undertaker and Shawn Michaels from WrestleMania 25 and 26, they did not need a world title. The same thing with Rock and Hogan. They did not need a world title. You know, the same goes with Punk and Rollins. This is a personal feud. So, it does not need a world title, in my opinion. So, they just announced that Drew McIntyre will challenge Rollins for the world championship on the first edition. On, I'm sorry, uh, January 1st, right? The first day of the year, day one of 2024. Now, I'm already predicting. I'm calling it right now. Drew McIntyre is winning that match. And I could see him having help. I could see like a Sheamus returning or something and having Sheamus help McIntyre win the world title. 
against Rollins. McIntyre holds that holds that world title, right? The world championship to WrestleMania. He goes into WrestleMania with an actual crowd. He's the world champion. He's finally having his moment. He's finally having his big break, right? You know, the moment that he always wanted to have. Having or having the world championship, winning it in front of the of a big crowd like WrestleMania because he didn't get to have that moment at WrestleMania 36 during the pandemic. He beat Lesnar, Brock Lesnar, in five minutes, but in front of nobody. So his story, you know, could really culmin- uh, can really uh, culminate at WrestleMania 40 with him walking in as the champion. Now, you're probably wondering, okay, Drew McIntyre is the world heavyweight champion, right? Seth is no longer world champ. CM Punk and and Seth Rollins, they're having their personal feud, right? Now, who's Drew's opponent for WrestleMania? Well, that brings me to Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn would be his opponent. Why Sami Zayn? Easily because he is the ultimate underdog. Right? Here's what Rey Mysterio was in his chase to the world title in 2006 when he won the Rumble. And, you know, he he just had everything going against him. The odds were stacked up against Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio eventually, you know eventually got his big break you know defeated Kurt Angle Randy Orton at Wrestlemania now I'm not comparing like Sami Zayn and Rey Mysterio but in terms of their underdog status they are alike in some ways right they are alike in that aspect so and this probably won't happen but in my own mind I'm I'm just envisioning the prospect of Sami Zayn either winning the Rumble or either winning the Chamber. More likely, I could see Sami Zayn winning the Elimination Chamber, right? And then he challenges Drew for the world title at WrestleMania. Right? And you, you just have the perfect story, you know? Sami Zayn's, you know, underdog journey, all the disappointments, all the setbacks, all the the injuries, the bad luck, you know, having people tell him he would never be able to win a world title, never climb the ladder, never achieve anything big, you know. And Drew McIntyre is a perfect uh, catalyst for Sami Zayn's underdog story. No one is better than Drew McIntyre to be that bad guy, to be that antagonist for Sami Zayn. You know, because we can also create a big star in Sami Zayn. I mean, he's already the biggest star. But, you know, when it comes to WrestleMania 40 and you talk about the biggest matchups, you're looking at Roman and Cody, Seth and Punk. And potentially Drew McIntyre and Sami Zayn for the World Heavyweight Championship. Now, I don't see Drew McIntyre losing to Seth Rollins. I don't see it happening. It would not make sense for Drew to to just turn heel. He takes out Sami Zayn. You know, he's beating Jey Uso. It would not make sense for him to lose to Seth. So, and like I said, Seth... And Punk, they don't need the world title. They're still going to main event WrestleMania night one without the title. Right? Drew and Sammy, they'll be... They'll probably be in the middle of the card, of course. Right? But... It's just... Both of their stories kind of do add up, right? When it comes to Drew and Sammy. Drew McIntyre was screwed by the bloodline. At Clash at the Castle in his home country, right? In front of his family, his friends, you know, he had Roman beaten 
and he got screwed over by the bloodline. The same thing happened with Sami Zayn. He almost beat Roman. He was about to beat Roman, and the bloodline cost him the title. So they both lost. They both got screwed over in their home country. So you can also run with that story too, and that's something they also mention on TV. So it, it just it just makes sense, to, you know, for that to be your 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 next WrestleMania match, Sami Zayn, Drew McIntyre. And I guarantee you, when it comes to Sami Zayn's babyface reactions, you know, those reactions. If you put him in that spot, if you have him go after the world title that Drew McIntyre is holding, I'm telling you right now, the crowd is going to firmly be all in for Sami Zayn winning that world title, right? The, those, those reactions will become stronger, louder, right? Maybe not on the same level as his feud with Roman, but listen, they go to Canada, man, and it's like those reactions are just legendary, man. Like the biggest pops you will ever hear is when Sami Zayn comes out in Canada, you know. So, like I said, it, there's a chance that what I'm predicting may not happen for WrestleMania. But I think it's fair that if Drew McIntyre's contract is bound to expire next year, I, I would definitely put the title on him and give him that one, you know, that one, one more title reign, right? One more world title reign, have him defend it at WrestleMania and put over, you know, a, put over Sami Zayn. You know, putting him over as a, as a, as an official, you know, main event level talent, right? Before he leaves. That's what I would do. Get the most out of Drew McIntyre as, as they can, you know, before his deal expires, you know? I mean, if you want to make this even more special... You could have Sheamus be in the corner of Drew McIntyre and have Kevin Owens be in the corner of Sami Zayn, his best friend. Imagine seeing Kevin Owens uh, celebrating Sami Zayn winning the world title, right? Like, that's just, that's a WrestleMania moment right there. So, Yeah, I mean, I definitely see the, the clues. I definitely see, you know, how things are just leaning toward uh, McIntyre winning the world title. Like, the signs are there, you know, for Sammy and Drew for WrestleMania. Like, the signs are there. I mean, if they don't have Sammy take on Drew, uh, then I don't see what else Sammy Zayn is going to do for WrestleMania the same thing with Drew McIntyre, you know. If Drew doesn't win the world title, then that's it. I don't see him. Win, I don't see him ever getting another shot again, and I don't see him doing anything, anything for WrestleMania, right? Like if you do a one-on-one -on -one match with Sami Zayn and Drew McIntyre, I feel like um, it would not be effective. And you know, this could be a chance to really put the world title on Sami Zayn. And establishing a new face for for Monday Night Raw. And establishing a new main event talent in Sami Zayn. You know. So that's just my thoughts. You know. Um, anybody saying that Sami Zayn's stock has dropped. I disagree. You know. Pay attention to the crowd reactions. He is not. He has not lost any stock. He's not really lost any momentum. I mean, he's still getting great reactions every single week. He is still crazy over. So, and I don't see that dying down anytime soon. So that being said, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like for the algorithm. This is another edition of Rational Wrestling Talk. And I'm out. Peace.